What's up, Whoopers? Vice here, and hey, we're doing a second deck profile in one stream. What's up with that? Because I realized that the decks for Ampharos and Lucario had been uh, popping up in content creators' mailboxes. So I thought, why don't we just check the shop and see if they're here? And lo and behold, you've got Ampharos, you've got Lucario, and you've got the Cyclozar. Um, products in the shop. So if you're out there uh, playing live on your phone or in your PC, go and check it out. Maybe grab some if you've got the crystals for it. I decided I wanted to try Ampharos EX. I've been hanging out for this card, so I'm really happy to see that it's available. And we went ahead and made a deck real quickly. So let me just go through it for you. We've got the Ampharos EX deck over here. And how does it work? Well, look, let's start with the main character of the deck, if you like, Ampharos EX. 330 HP, stage two Pokemon. It's got a couple of attacks. You've got Electro Ball here, does 60 damage. Not too exciting. Thunderstrike Tail, a bit more exciting. It says, 140 plus, you may discard two energy from this Pokemon to have this attack do 100 more damage. So you can max out at 240, and if you've got some kind of damage augmentation in your deck, you might even be doing a little bit more. I've chosen not to run anything like Choice Belt or any other kinds of damage increasing cards. I've just chosen to go with the the base amount of damage that you can do here. Um, of course, being an Ampharos means that it evolves from the Flaffy, so you're going to run a full complement of the Flaffy with Dynamoto in order to facilitate the, the Thunderstrike Tail. You've got Maridon EX over here to help you with the setup. You got Luminion here in case you need to grab that first supporter to keep you going or a crucial supporter later in the game. Greninja, obviously a great fit for a deck that wants energy to enter the discard pile to then grab it back with uh, Dynamoto and, um, you know, like any deck appreciates being able to draw. Manaphy here to protect your, Mar your Mareeps and Flaffies from the perils of a Lost Box powered Greninja uh, Moonlight Shuriken, and then just a Mew here to help you in the very, very early game and, and fetch out cards like Rare Candy. And speaking of which, I've decided to go with the full four. Why not? Let's get Ampharos EX out there straight away and, um, you know, live for the dream that you'll hit a, a turn to Thunderstrike Tail. Not that unusual when you've got four Rare Candies, you've got Maridon filling your bench with Lightning Pokemon and all of that sort of thing. Then, to help facilitate the deck, I've chosen to go with VIP Pass. In retrospect, maybe Nest Ball is a better fit other than uh, instead of playing that card. you got four Level Ball to get your, your Flaffies and Mareeps and, and Muse and whatnot. Four Ultra Ball is fine in this deck, right? The reason why I run all these Ultra Balls is because you want to get cards into the discard pile, namely the Lightning Energies, so it can be very good. And then, a couple of uh, interesting choices here. I've got two Beach Court and a couple of switching cards. So in order to get this Ampharos EX swinging every turn, if you can, if you want, and, um, you know, some disruption here with Boss's Orders and Serena. Serena is just handy as a way to draw through your deck as well. Speaking of draw, you've got four research. Very good in this kind of deck. And um, a bit unusual, I'm trying out the Zinnia's Resolve. I'm not sold on it. Um, it sort of made its way into the deck while I started, you know, while I tried to think about other, uh, you, you know, like other cards that could take up that space. Maybe I continue to cut the Zinnia down to maybe one and add an extra Serena or something like that. 12 Lightning Energy, very healthy amount, um, is very much appreciated in the Dynamoto deck. I've chosen not to use the Electricity Generator item. I've sort of want to lean on the idea that uh, I should be able to get Maridon off turn two if I'm running a 4-4 Flaffy line, right? And, you know, you have to concede space somewhere. So I, I view Generator as a bit of a luxury in a build that works the way that this, this deck does. And finally, to top it all off, you've got a Cheryl here. Why not? You've got a Pokemon with 330 HP. Often it's going to be a two-hit KO to try and take it down. So on a turn where you can go, you know, take an attack, switch to the bench, Cheryl, and then like, you know, come active again. Maybe you switch into a one retreat Pokemon like Maridon, and you've got the, the beach court to help facilitate the free retreat. So Cheryl plus switch together can be a pretty 
devastating combo if you pull it off. But, you know, we're, we're not wholly focused on it, right? So that's why we just have the Cheryl as a one-off. Um, it's kind of fun and exciting to have more EX cards, especially Stage 2s that might pose a bit of a problem for, for your opponents. So look, I've got an example game kind of coming up for you in just a sec. If you enjoy weird decks and wonderful decks, rogue decks, anti-meta decks, sometimes competitive decks, I've been on a bit of a Gardevoir um, uh, binge lately. I really enjoy playing that deck. So look, if you enjoy all of that, consider liking, commenting. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. Maybe even follow me on Twitch where I've been streaming lately and I'll see you in the next live stream of video. So take care and goodbye. See you later. This is not a great hand and Cheryl showed up a little early to the party again. All right, that's a bit better. All right, we need Mew. If we're gonna have any chance of this working out, we need Mew. I should also use Tandem Unit first to thin the deck a little bit. I'm just going to go... Uh, yeah, I just want to go to Mareep. I want space. We do have your candy, though. That's interesting. Ultra Ball? I think I have to, right? Yeah. I guess we hold it. If they judge us, so be it. Better than having it in play, right? If they fill their bench, we may Luminion for Zinnia. Get the five card draw and keep the Cheryl and the rare candy. We'll see. All right, getting that psychic energy nice and cozy into the discard pile. Already sort of enough to make any kind of second turn work out quite nicely. That is quite the discard. Would I replace with Nest Ball? Yes. Yes, that is a good idea, Pure Photon. Early, early drafts so far. We might play this one out. Hopefully it's a good enough game to, to showcase what you might be able to do with the deck. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Going to your second turn, if you don't, like, magically get your um, Flaffy out, uh, sorry, your Ampharos out, um, you know, you, I, I could certainly look to attack um, with the Maridon. So, I mean, that always happens. Maybe I need Raikou. I mean, I always want a Mareep. And then we use tail. Um, rope is fine. Because that will let us attack with Maridon this turn. If we even want to play it that way, like... Oh, no, wait, I don't have, um... The other Flaffy, so I think we have to do this. I 
Is Serena the option I go for? Probably. Zinnia is good though if I can if I can force it, if I can make it. Well maybe I just research the whole hand. Forget the Cheryl. That could also be good actually. I'm gonna do that. Let's just do that. Oh, it's annoying, actually. I should have gone. Because I needed to keep the escape rope, actually. Dang. I needed the rope. That sucks. Maybe just draw into a switch. Okay. Now what will you do? This is annoying. I should probably consider Collapse Stadium or Penny for the list. For situations where Luminion's just sitting there. Bit of a rough open, honestly. And they're sort of allowed to set up at their leisure. It would be good if they don't sort of hit their other um, Gardevoir EX. But if it does happen, then, you know, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, what's good is with this stadium in play, they can't put enough Psychic Pokemon in play to put all the damage counters on Flaffy. I'm really sort of upset that we had to discard Cheryl early, but that's just the nature of drawing it early, unfortunately. Okay, so they'll probably just knock out the Mew. I can't imagine they're going to put damage on the Flaffy. But we shall see. What will you do? Bit of an awkward game so far. Miriam is going to get their Pokemon back. So they were able to achieve the turn two guard of our dream. But let's see if we can hang tough. Let's see if we can hang tough. Moon Glow Reverse. Where does it go? Onto the Mew or elsewhere? Yeah, onto the Mew. That's what I thought. I think that putting energy over here is a bit pointless, but... It is neither here nor there, I think. So, energy over here is required. Let's just use a level ball rather than expend a tandem unit. And we'll research. Nice. Any right, energy to cash out? There is. So let's use Dynamoto. And put one here. And we'll just hit them with a Photon Blaster. Nice and powerful, 220 damage, knocking out quite a few Pokemon on our opponent's side of the board. The only thing that they play typically that can withstand a Photon Blaster is the Gardevoir EX. It's going to be very interesting um, contending with this. If we... 
put our Ampharos EX active and attack into something. We'll be at a full 330 HP. So that's what's going to be irritating for them to deal with, right? We know that the typical Gardevoir list only has one boss. So it's not even a guarantee that they'll have it in the hand, but looking at their, their deck size and the amount of draw options they have access to and the way in which they're choosing to play this um, um, their abilities out does seem like or feel like they should be able to get around the Ampharos if needed. Now we've got a Miriam in hand, uh, sorry, a boss in hand, and that's handy. Um, next turn we've got Beach Court, so we can conserve the energy on the Maridon as well, which is quite nice if they do go for this Zashian play, which honestly could be on the menu. Um, yeah, it might be, it might be a bit of a tough customer. And you know what? We could just attack with Electro Ball into this, and then they'll have to figure out how to do 330 damage on the following turn, right? It's very interesting. All right, so that's not enough damage, but if they attach one more energy, they'll get there, and then we can just... We could probably just normal attach one to the Ampharos and use Electro Ball. That's not enough. Oops. Whoops. So we're going to use Beach Court now and expand our horizons a little bit. Um, we want to use Tandem Unit and draw out our... Um, oh. I don't really want another Maridon in play, actually. So that's a bit of a misplay. Now I need to Miriam. Yeah, all the Mareeps in the discard pile. I honestly just want to try and get it anyway. So let's do this. Okay. That's a little annoying, but that's fine. Dynamoto. Over here. And we'll retreat. And we can just hit them with the Thunderstrike Tail. 140, not too shabby. Nope. Not too shabby. And now my opponent has a bit of a conundrum. Ultra Ball, fine. So a bit of a misplay there. I should have known better. To to know that one of my Mareep was in the discard pile. My apologies. We're in an okay spot, right? If they play, like, Palpad for Miriam, they could collect a KO with the Cresselia that we knocked out earlier. They might want to try and go for that this turn. This is interesting here as well, because if they choose to attack with this Gardevoir for any reason, it's going to have too many damage counters on it. We'll be able to Thunderous Tail and knock it out. Interesting position. Four to their five. We're on a, a good sort of uh, trajectory towards winning. We're not presenting any three prize Pokemon. And it means that they're going to have to attack at least three times to win this game. Sky Seal Stone, not doing anything for them, but possibly just playing it just to thin it out of their deck and ensure that future turns aren't a worry. Temple of Sinnoh, not a worry for us. We do not play any special energy in our build. Could try Gift Energy, maybe. Just one something different. What will they do? What is it? See, if they, if they embrace three times and attack with the Gardevoir for whatever reason, we just retaliate with a KO. It's a shame it would have been really nice to play the to have the Cheryl on hand, but it's fine. I don't know what they're going to do here. Because that's not enough. Nine? Wait, it is, isn't it? Nine, three is 27. Yeah, okay, so that will be a, a KO. 
That's fine, right? We just retaliate with our Maridon. We can play Miriam a second time. And we've got like a, a nice um, map presenting itself here. It is, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky, but we'll get there. Did you mess up? Oh no. Yeah, I will. I will, Craig. I will. Did they? They? I think they messed up. They're looking for that last energy. Oh, one of their energies is over here too. It's trapped. Well, that'll do it. Yep, they're gonna get their KO now. That that really sucks because we had like a lot of really good cards in hand. And I mean, sure, we'll we'll collect the, the return KO easy enough. Actually, it would have been so good if we could attack with the Ampharos again. Um, our second one. Because, see, that they've only got 40 HP left. So we've got a really good line of play um, uh, unveiling itself here. Uh, it's just a matter of whether we can draw into it, of course. It's just a matter of we can draw into it. Um, because they can't, they can't do it with the Gardevoir. They need the Zashin. So let's do this. And let's do this. And let's use Tandem Unit. And see if we can thin. Do we want to put Maridon in play? I think it's okay if we do... Um, just in the interest of thinning our deck, right? Um, and we can do this. One and two. Dang. That's not really what we wanted. It's not really what we wanted. So a Boston deck. If only this was the 40 HP one. I'm going to attack with the other one. Actually, no, I can't. Can I? Dang. I'm very upset that they judged there and, and got lucky. Because now they can present the the Gardevoir, right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. All right. We got a strategy. We got a strat. Okay. They're in trouble. They're in trouble. Here's the line. Okay. Boss's orders this and put it at like such high damage that they won't be able to um they won't be able to escape i think that's the line um it's gonna be hard but we'll see yeah yeah, I think I think we can do it. I think we can do it. It's just gonna be really hard. I think we wanna promote Mareep as well for this. Maybe there's no point. Maybe it does need to be Maridon. I guess I'll know based on what they bench or don't bench here too. Okay, they lose. hundred percent they lose. They they have to. They have to here. 
Because if we do 240 to this, it'll be on 280. And so they won't be able to double embrace. And they've got 10, that's 11. So if they have a 12th energy, they can get out. But it's going to be very hard. And so I don't think any play other than Ampharos on the on the following turn works. So it has to be this, and then we have to Radiant Greninja into it or top deck it. So good luck, us. Good luck. Good luck. Greninja. Okay. Concealed. Ooh. Ultra Ball, the Manaphy, and the and the Pass. Ampharos. Okay. Dynamoto. Just play it nice and steady. Dynamoto. I'm going to keep the other energy in hand because you never know. All right. Ampharos. Yeah. Actually, attach the other energy as well. Retreat. Boss. Tail. Yes. We only discard two, so next turn we can retreat without having to find another energy just to do it. Now, I don't know what happens here. Maybe they have it. Maybe they have it. But they can only embrace once. They have to have the, sec the, the 12th energy. And one of their energies is stuck on the route. I mean, no, 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 that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So we'll see. Hello, Rasekalol. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, if you go into the the shop, the in-game shop, you can just buy it. So let's see if they've got the 12th energy. If they've got the 12th energy, then, you know, they'll, they'll have the goods to get out of here. But so if they only run 11... Then, no good. And thank you so much for the follow, Recycle. I appreciate that. Sora! And Professor's Research. Good card. Good card. What's it going to be, bro? Have you got the energy? Oh, my gosh. No way. No way you've got it. Get out of here. Get a escape rope or something. Please say psych. Please say psych. Wait, if they have rope, we just promote Ampharos. Because <laughs> they've got one energy stuck here. Also, this energy stuck here. So, we're good. If they have... If they just have the basic energy, then fine. Like... Yeah. But otherwise, I think they lose. 11 energy is pretty common. Okay. All right. So, one, two, six. We have so many energy. We have so many energy. Yep. All right, GG. And we might even just Electro Ball for the win. Holy moly, dude. Here we go. Take down the Gardevoir. That was a hectic end game. Because we trapped the Gardevoir. We put it all on... We put it all on the Thunderstrike right at the very end. And it worked out for us. And they... To their credit, they tried. They tried. But, um... Yeah, they didn't have it. Too... Too bad. 